Hi folks, Slay the Black Mage here, back with a, another series. Today we are here... That was weird. We are here with Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy. I remember playing this game as a kid, and holy crap. I did play it out of order, because I, you know, at the time I didn't understand sequels and all that, but I did enjoy playing all the games, and I felt like coming back to this. I never did 100% runs of these games, so I figured... Let's do 100% runs now. It's a nice little break from uh, doing some Devil Town stuff on uh, Save Skylines. So, let's get into this. So, new save. Let's start with Spiral the Dragon. Play this in order. I'm already loving the graphics. Oh. It's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganog character? Now, I understand he's done a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Huh, so if we hadn't called him ugly, this wouldn't have happened. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I just realized something. So let's play it. So he knows there's a dragon on the loose, so and he's like, eh, leave that one. Whoa. This, holy crap. I wonder, can we go through this door? No, guess that's a locked door. All right, well, let's get the first one unlocked. Oh, but thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Jeez, they went all out. Like, okay, I know I've been saying this, but the graphics are good. Music's nice. Wonder if the, uh, either, because I know the police uh, artist did the original soundtrack. So I'm just curious if they either just enhanced or did improvements. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. And I'm guessing it's not the same voice actor. Hey! Get here! Alright. So, general game plan is I plan to do each of the worlds 100% before moving on. I believe it's the third third game where that becomes an issue because certain things are locked and you have to come back to it later so i'll try to do as much as i can in those worlds but yeah don't be surprised about uh a little stubbornness with trying to make sure everything's done just making sure nothing is missed over here do you like i've got a little mini map in the bottom
All right, so that's the next world. Again, I don't want to go to a world until... All right, so... Oh, I'm going to have to... Go back up to get that other chest now. All right. So I think that's this area covered. Oh, they changed it. Before it was like a little lightning bolt that struck you, but now it's just a little dot of magic. Nope. I see you. All right. So, oh, got another dragon over here to unlock. And if I remember, there's a secret over in this area. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. Yep, unlocks the speedway. He also collects gems, and if I remember correctly, if you once you beat the main game, he can point you towards gems if you're trying to do a completionist run. I'm just taking a look at control since I can. Wait, so clicking down on the stick and the Y button. Oh, I can also play with the D-pad. All right, so skill point acquired. Wait a minute. Skill points. Okay, so apparently there's skill point stuff. Don't know if I'll 100% that. I know I intend to 100% the uh you know, like gems, dragons, eggs, that kind of stuff. <laughs> cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. I think for the most part, the uh, the original script is the same. Well, that's a neat little detail. They probably added that. So just double checking. Is there? Yep. And there's some gems over here. All right. Man, this this is bringing back a lot of memories. Oh, are you laughing now? If you prove your worth by rescuing ten dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly to a new world. Huh? They gave him voice lines. Wait. Holy crap, do I already have that ability unlocked? Hold on. Oh wow, I already got the gym thing unlocked. Okay, normally you have to wait for the end of the game. All right, level 100% complete. Uh, let's start off with the speedway.
So five dragons and a hundred gems found. Alright, so there's going to be a pattern to this. I just got to figure out what the pattern is. broken the pattern so this is probably going to take me more than one attempt oh I crashed planes barrels chests arches yep try again All right. Uh, all right, it looks like that should have been the end point, but I didn't do that as the end point. Okay, we got a bird something. All right, out time. Dang it. So we got to get, so chests are probably at the end. All right, so we'll go like this. There's other planes. There they are. Okay, I hear the one. Okay. So go through the arches. And then when we go through the last arch, hang a right for the chest. I have no idea if I'm doing this in the right order or not, but you know what? Who cares? If it works, it works. All right, hang a right. All 
All right, so I'm gonna have to make a full rotation. Oh crap, that's two I've missed. Oh, no, no, we almost had it. All right, retry. Gosh dang it. We almost had it. Let's get the planes. Come on. Orcs and planes. Go figure. probably screwed up a bit so let's get some time back We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Kind of close, but we'll be fine. a little too close. Nope, we're good. We're good. All right. So that's been 100%ed. That's been 100%ed. Oh, and that's right. Old games where you can't... Uh, so if I remember correctly, you don't give gems anymore, but you do give little orbs that if I collect enough, gives me a free life. Alright, so let's do Dark Hollow. So as far as plans of where to end the episodes, I figured an hour is good, but if I end up getting the world complete, like the entire world, you know, the main world and its subworlds, I'll probably call the episode there. Okay, I seem to not have some good... <clears throat> Alright. Ah, the introduction of the key. Okay, I need better aim! And you just burn. So what's the skill point here? Uh, Arson, Stone Hills, Peacekeepers, Dr. Shampai, Caves, Blowhard. Oh! 
So there's this. So not every world has a skill point. Got it. I got a... So yeah, if you're very familiar with the original game, this definitely plays and feels like it, but they definitely upped the art. Like, these graphics are... Whew. So I wish they could have got the old voices, but you know what? I'm fine with them doing some recordings, you know, make it a little crisper. Because it probably wouldn't sound as good now. And that's the portal out. Big enemies like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick play that should defeat them. All right, so not leaving yet because we still got work to do. Looks like we've got a section down here. Oh! So yeah, big metal guys, usually you gotta charge them or wait for their weak spot to show. Or somehow do something like that. a nice big key that they got there or at least you know the icon for it Psst. spyro want to know a secret use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around oh your secret's safe with me um not safe with me though apparently because uh everyone in the world knows it now actually pretty cool. Alright, so we still gotta go up there. Ooh! Life up, uh, butterfly. All right, so probably the last few gems I'm looking for are over here. Yeah, there's a couple over here. Noted. Alright, we're done. Time for the portal out of here. I'm just curious. Now... Okay, so if there's no gems to be found, he just spirals like that. Got it. I guess we're going to Stone Hills next. There's something that I just enjoy about the simplicity of these games. 
nowadays you have to be loaded with so many gimmicks and skills and tricks and all this stuff. But now, it, but back then it was just simple. Sure, yeah, there was difficult games that required skill and stuff, but, you know, the simple ones, they always had a charm to them. Well, missed that sheet by accident. Oh wait, that was a ram, not a sheep. Big difference. One's horny. Alright, so I've got three ways to go. And I believe there is something down here. Yep, dragon. A locked box. No, no, I want the dragon. Well, I'll come back for it anyways, because locked box. A lot of treasure in here. Saving your progress. That could be <laughs> useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Saving progress, and that dragon's all about the clocks. level up. I'm mean, not level ups. Life ups. Well, then there's the end level, but we're not ready to leave yet. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. You story? No, thanks. See ya. What? No! I would have taken the story gladly. All right, there's the key. All right. So we can go back to that first area with the well. Yeah, it's just, I never got to really uh, complete this game because funny enough, Young Slate was a, uh, was not a great gamer. I could play games, I could beat them. But, uh, 100%ing? No, wasn't that great at doing that. Coffee? Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies... He's got a septum! Strong, like me. He's got a septum piercing. Sure. Alright, so we've gone in there. We have to get up above. We've gone over there. So we have to go over here now. Oh, I hear one of the eight guys. So turning gems into warriors. All right. By the way, is there a uh, skill point here? Burn the hidden pink tulip.
All right, so we gotta find a hidden pink tulip. So the question is, where is said hidden tulip? Miss that, Jim. All right. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? Oh. Well. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid flight. Giant paintbrush. All right. There's the egg guy. Gosh dang it. Okay, so now... So I wonder how they designed the, uh... Uh, hidden skill points. Wait, is that it? I thought I saw something pink over here. I wonder, I know these were barrier. Yep, still barriers. Alright, that's all the gems. Level is not 100% complete. Because I still have to find that pink flower. It is pink, right? Pink tulip. Nope. Oh, barrier. Hidden pink tulip. I would think it'd be up here. You know, in this upper section. I am not seeing it, though. Oh, there it is. That was actually pretty well hidden. All right, time to go home. All right, so I believe we got Town Square next. Ow. Curious. No, you can't. You can't check your menu while uh, flying into a world. Got it. We'll probably be able to go to uh, Toasty's World. I believe that's the one uh, after Town Square. I 
And I might actually replay the dragon before, because I think he has different dialogue if, uh... Alright, so the skill point here is to charge all the bulls and get them stuck. I believe that's the skill point. Am I right? Yep, all bulls stuck. Oh, that's me! Welcome to Town Square, Spyro! Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. <laughs> that is just hilarious. And we gotta breathe flame and then pick up the gem as it's in midair on that one. And if I remember correctly, there should be a egg course on this one. Thanks, Spyro. Ah. I have the worst itch on the tip of my wig. Did you know that you get your longest glide by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? <laughs> yeah, another dragon told me that. And there's the egg guy up there. I'm glad that they actually kept the whole you can't swim in water mechanic for this one. I believe it's in the second one that you can start swimming. That leads to over to the egg guy, which we'll deal with that in a moment. I want to get this skill point dealt with. your knife. Alright, so if I remember correctly... Ah, crap. Where'd he go? He went back up there. Dang it! Still gotta push that bowl over. And skill point acquired. Where am I missing some gems? Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. All right, all dragons found.
Okay, it's up towards where the egg guy was, so it's probably something I missed. Yep. I love having that feature available now. Okay, so it's up this way. Ah, yep. There we go. Level complete. <laughs> All these bowls. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. And smile! I have to get a picture of that. Alright, so I think that means we can go to Toasty. Let me check. Yeah, because I think that's all the worlds. Let's see, we just did Town Square. We did Stone Hills, the Speedway, Dark Hollows. Yep, yeah, toasty. It's toasty time. And I'm going to react. Yep, I'm going to reactivate this guy's uh, talk. Because he should have new dialogue. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. All right, time to take on Toasty. Polygon, they felt a little, little more menacing. They're like, they look like Dobermans essentially in the original. So I get why you went with the sheep herding dogs because you know theme and all that, but these don't feel as menacing anymore. is not flying well. No, there isn't. Crap. Okay, so we gotta be careful. It'd be nice to get through this episode without dying once. You know, show, hey, I'm still a good gamer. <laughs> I'm just curious. Nope. Okay, so it does not heal me. Oh, I gotta do this without a dragonfly. Woo! 
Yeah, it's a sheep on stilts. Oh. gems level complete looks like we're getting the artisan world done in one episode and I didn't die all right so ah, there's some more sheep Time for the peacekeepers. So, yeah, Arts and World is finished. So, I'm probably going to end this here for today's episode. Uh, next episode, we'll be starting the peacekeepers. See if we can get that done in one episode. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. Hope you all enjoy. This has been Slay the Black Mage. If you like this video and... Uh, or like this series in particular, you know, consider hitting the like button. That way uh, it helps out with the algorithm. If you got any thoughts about uh, this series or comments or anything to talk about for the future of this series, you know, drop a comment as well. It helps out with the uh, algorithm. And if you want to be notified right away of when a video goes live, consider hitting the bell icon. That way you can get a notification when a video or live stream goes live. Uh, for the time being, I plan on doing maybe one or two of these a week. Uh, not sure. At least once a week. Maybe two. So we'll see. Hey, this has been Slade the Black Mage, and I'll see you all around the bend. Have a good one, folks.